efforts to curb crude oil theft in Nigeria, as well as optimize value addition by the workforce in the oil and gas industry. Stakeholders in the oil sector have called on federal government to strengthen the human capacity development of workers and ensure optimum security of oil pipeline area across the country. The former national president, Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Brown Ogwefu, made his call at the Energy and Labor Summit organized by Pengasin in Abuja. He laments over the high level of oil theft, which has resulted to several companies shutting down operations, which has led to loss of jobs in oil and gas industry. Some major illegal truck lines discovered recently by Tantida Security Services Limited. A surveillance company have recently also said that has posed that some of these pipelines have been there for between four to nine years. How about now? That is not spirit. They are physical. And yet we have security network. And I'm sure companies spend so much money on security. Those are not members of the military. They are either, by extension, our associate members. In his remark, the national president, Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Festus Usifu, stressed the need for oil and gas exploration companies to strategize and move their investment and capital to renewable energy-related projects. He laments that the oil workers have been neglected over the years. Hence, there is need to brainstorm on how to protect the workforce. To attract investment to the oil and gas industry has been a challenge and has been a problem. So, we must also call for a balance between energy security, investment, and also uh, the transition. Because if you don't invest today in the oil and gas, what that means is that the supply is going to reduce. And when the supply reduces and the demand is still relatively constant, the price is going to go up. So these are the current challenges the world over is facing. But in all these conversations, ladies and gentlemen, the most important asset has been left aside. In all these conversations, the most important of them all, which is the human capital, there is no conversation as of today all over the world that has inculcated how the human capital, how the workforce is going to transit. The plan as it is today, it's not necessarily an implementable format. A plan must have clear actions. Who are the people, the resources? The, how you are going to monitor them? When you are going to monitor them? And because it is an energy transition discussion, you should even bring it back to plenaries like this and pay it back to the people because it is for all of us. So, I think the theme of the summit is tagged energy transition and its effects on the workforce in Nigeria oil and gas sector. Members of the union are, however, urged to expose those that are behind the oil theft in the country. Kike Lomo Okeri, Court TV News, Abuja.